last week or the week before last, it was announced that the character of Lois Lane was going to be a guest star on the Supergirl TV show this upcoming, I think, fourth season, along with Tyler Hecklin returning as Superman. Tyler Hecklin debuted, I think, in season two as the TV version of Superman, Supergirl's cousin, and it was met, his performance was met with Ray reviews. People felt that his portrayal and the way they wrote the character was more in line with how people want to see Superman in live action, the way he usually is portrayed in comics. Unlike kind of the more brooding, depressed, unsure of himself Superman we've seen in the Henry Cavill movies. No disrespect to Henry Cavill. I think Henry Cavill was just portraying the Superman he was told to play. And he would definitely play the more classical version of Superman if given the opportunity like he started to do in Justice League. But that got me to thinking. We have Superman and Lois Lane coming to TV. What if, you know, DC and Warner Brothers gave them their own show... Like this mysterious Metropolis TV show that was rumored, or not rumored, reported on to be developed for the DC Universe streaming network. Originally, I think last year was when we first heard about it, and they said that the show was going to be about Lois Lane and Lex Luthor as paranormal investigators in the city of Metropolis before Superman came. And they were going to have all these villains and weird scientific things going on in Metropolis before Superman arrived, and people thought that was weird. And so... They retold, they said they were going to retool the show. And we have no idea what Metropolis is going to look like when it airs. And I'm wondering, what if they're going to use, you know, Lois and Superman on Supergirl, maybe as a test to see how they're well received. And if they're well received, just make Metropolis a show about Superman and Lois Lane. You know, why have a show about Superman and his city and all of his supporting characters without Superman actually being there? It would just make more sense if he was on the show. You know, because... I think the Metropolis TV show is being produced or developed by other people who are doing the Gotham TV show on Fox. And as you know, I watch Gotham, I enjoy it. But one of the big criticisms of Gotham or the perplexities about it is like, it's weird to see a show with Batman and his villains without Batman being on it. Yes, Bruce Wayne is a character on the show. But if you notice, the show didn't really seem to come in to get come together a click or they didn't know what to do with the character of young Bruce until they started the storyline where he's becoming Batman so Gotham finally hit its stride when it became more in line with what people would expect from the Batman universe you know someone like Batman who's getting ready to fight all of his villains I still enjoyed Gotham the way it was I've seen every season I've liked it despite all the criticism but I do think the show probably would have been more successful with people if they just made it a show about Batman instead of, you know, all these things going on before Batman came along. And, you know, they're actually starting to make, you know, Bruce Wayne become Batman in the show, which is what a lot of people think they should have done from the beginning. And so, you know, what if it's possible they've learned their lesson with Gotham, you know, that it's better to not do a Batman show without Batman on it. And with Metropolis, you're just going to make it a Superman show. You know, Superman and Lois... And, you know, all these villains on there and have that be that on the DC Universe Network next year in 2019. I mean, basically, they could just have Tyler Hecklin and whoever they cast, the actors to play Lois, you know, film their stuff for Supergirl right now. And then as soon as they're done, be like, guess what, guys? You're going to be filming again for your own TV show. And I think fans would love that. I think people would embrace a Superman show. Now, the question is, what would this mean for Supergirl? People might think, well, a Superman TV show would threaten Supergirl. I don't necessarily think so. I mean, I think there would be room for both of them to be on, especially since they're on different networks, both owned by DC and Warner Brothers. Well, right? Isn't the CW? But whatever. Because, you know, Superman and Supergirl, writers have been able to have storylines for them to going at the same time in the comics. You know, there's a Supergirl series going on right now in DC, and there are Superman comics going on in DC right now in the comics. And the writers aren't having any problem finding storylines for both of them to do apart from each other. So I think that if the writers and producers are creative enough with these TV shows, they can find storylines and things for both Superman and Supergirl to do without feeling like there's room for only one show about a Kryptonian superhero. I mean, they're already finding ways, I think, to make it work with that Krypton show on the Sci-Fi Channel, right? Which is sort of kind of a Superman prequel, but it's different because it takes place generations before I think Superman is around. And I think they're finding ways to put people from the present on Krypton. I don't watch Krypton, so, you know, it's possible. I don't know what I'm talking about. But, you know, I think they can make it work if they want to make it work. 
And I think it wouldn't threaten Henry Cavill's Superman either. You know, there's rumors. Well, I don't know. There's all kinds of rumors about Man of Steel 2 if it ever happens. But I think they could have him be, you know, the Superman, you know, we all want, I mean, to come back and still have this Superman on the Metropolis TV show. I mean, I, whole, I think the whole idea that one threatens the other, I mean, it's all about perspective. If that's what you believe, it's possible. But I don't think that's the case. I think, you know, just like we're about to have a Flash movie with Ezra Miller in live action going on at the same time as the Flash TV show with Grant Gustin, those two could work simultaneously. We could have a Superman movie, you know, universe with Henry Cavill going on at the same time as the Tyler Hecklin Superman on TV, at the same time as we have the Melissa Benoist Supergirl TV show. I think that if DC and Warner Bros. are creative, they want to make it happen, it can work, and I think DC fans would embrace it. They would love to see Superman and Supergirl any way they can see them. You know, I know, I'm a super DC fan. I'll watch all the movies and the TV shows. I don't care. And I think as long as Warner Brothers, you know, has faith in their fans and in, you know, the audience and, you know, is confident and creative, they can make it happen. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.